reactions are beginning to trail the proposed Enugu airport upgrade with Nigerians saying the airport is the shortest gateway to the five southeast states and the renovation they say should be handled as a matter of national importance. This comes as the Enugu state government has announced plans to shut down the Ure, Emene market and abattoir located very close to the airport. <laughs> Nigeria's Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngige, says the upgrade was expected due to the recent increase in the number of passengers who use the airport facility. He adds that there is need to expand the runway to meet up with international standard and accommodate bigger airlines. And this runway is uh, one of the worst runways in uh, Nigeria and Africa. That's what the pilots say whenever we are there. So what the minister... I think he's saying, because I'm a member of the Federal Executive Council, and this issue has come up many times, is that the state government should be relocate Relocate the market, relocate the abattoir, relocate the mass that is near here, and then give them the necessary support in terms of land encroachment so that they can uh, strengthen the, uh, the wrong way and, uh, and uh, extend it. Earlier, the Enoko state government had approved the immediate closure of the Ori MNA market an abattoir located very close to the airport. The government also ordered the immediate removal of all illegal structures. But the second one is to close down the market and the abattoir inside it because uh, both of them were constituting a hazard to not just the passengers who are coming into and going out of the airport, but the traders themselves. Because if there is anything that happens, God forbid, in that airport today, it will be a tragedy of gigantic dimensions. So we're not just saving the lives of those who are coming into a room, we're also saving the lives of those who are in that place. It's mixed reactions for passengers who emphasize the importance of the Akano Biam International Airport in Enugu being the only international window from the southwest to the rest of the world. It will be a big hit for most of the southeastern states because I know Ebony passengers coming through here, Anambra passengers coming through here as well, and even sometimes people are going to Abia. You know, so it's going to be a huge hit you know, uh, for traders and people who even fly international straight from all over the world on Ethiopian Airlines. Um, so I'm not, sure how, I'm not sure how people are going to take it, um, uh, but I mean, we hope the, the government can keep to their word this time. That if it's, let, let one month be one month or two months be two months. People are hoping that the renovation work will be done very quickly in order to reduce the impacts that the temporary closure will have on them.